from your massive fight here at Madison Square Garden. So now that fight camp is behind you, the hard part's behind you, just weight cut and media. What are the emotions now? Uh, honestly, I mean, I feel really good. I had a really great camp. My body feels really good. My weight's good. So I'm honestly just really happy right now and can't wait to fight. Was MSG ever a goal for you specifically, or was it just they asked you to fight a Madison Square Garden and that's what got you excited? Oh, no, MSG has definitely been a goal for, for a very long time. Uh, I trained at Henzo Gracie's in NYC, literally across the street from MSG for years. Um, so I used to pass it every time taking the train, and I was like, oh, I can't wait till I can fight there one day. Uh, so after my first UFC fight, I already started calling out for it. <laughs> and obviously looking at Molly, she's become one of the more popular fighters, not just in the women's divisions, but just in MMA as a whole. The Rock is tweeting about her, Drake's giving her Rolex and everything. So when this name, when her name came across, did, you, did it kind of motivate you more considering like you can steal all this hype that Molly has behind her? Yeah, you know, I mean, I didn't really care who I fought. To be honest, I just wanted to fight at MSG. And fighting a big name like Molly is obviously great for me and my career. And, um, you know, it's a super winnable fight for me. So it was perfect. What do you make of her last few performances? She's obviously, she's got those knockouts with the spinning back elbow. But I would assume now it happens twice in a row. You know to look for it. Yeah, I mean, of course, you have to be aware of it. Uh, you have to be aware of anyone who's kind of been consistently doing something. Um, I mean, you can't over uh, think it and stuff like that. But um, but yeah, I mean, she's been on a good winning streak. I've been on a good winning streak myself, so I think it's a great fight for both of us. What do you make of her grappling at all? Because obviously she comes from a boxing background. She's winning with this spectacular spinning uh, elbows, but what do you make of the other side of her skill set? Uh, you know, she's definitely primarily a striker, but I mean, I've watched a bunch of her fights. She's definitely not scared to like go for takedowns and work on the ground. I mean, I think I'm far superior there, um, and I think I'm just better overall everywhere. But, um, but, you know, I mean, she's a fighter, and she's willing to fight anywhere, and she doesn't give up, so I'm not going to totally downplay that. And unrelated to your fight, I've been asking everyone at Media Day this. Uh, this is Frank Edgar's last fight uh, in his MMA career. So were you a fan of his coming up? Do you have any memories of Frank Edgar watching him or just being around him? Oh, definitely. I mean, he was a Jersey guy. And um, my dad was a big UFC fan before I even really started training. So he was always watching him fight. So I kind of have a lot of memories of watching him fight with my dad. Because my dad was like, oh, come watch him. He's from Jersey. Uh, so he's definitely held it down for our state. Do you have any thoughts on the main event between Izzy and Alex? Uh, I mean, I think it's a super interesting fight considering Alex beat him twice, I believe, um, already. And I mean, obviously, it's a different sport, but um, I mean, it's what Adesanya is strong at and what he's been beating everyone with, his striking. So I think it definitely, it's definitely an interesting fight. I'm curious how Adesanya is going to approach it, if he's going to maybe try to grapple someone that has beat him striking before. Aaron, over here. Yeah. Aaron, Aaron, over here. Oh, sorry. It's <laughs> yeah. OK. Um, so Molly was in there earlier, and, and she was up there for a long time, and I think there might have been one question about you. That said, do you, do you think she might be overlooking you? Uh, I mean, I think it'd be silly of her to overlook me. I mean, I'm ranked ahead of her. Uh, I know I'm younger, and she has a couple more fights than me, but um, I don't really care what she's thinking. I know what I've done, and I know what I can do when I get in there. And obviously, she's got back-to-back -back spinning knockouts. Uh, you know, one. Sometimes people call it fluke. Two in a row, you know, starts becoming a trend. Is that something you had to add into your training to be get ready for something like that? Yeah, I mean, of course. I mean, whenever you're fighting anybody, I mean, she's been kind of that's kind of been hyped up because it's very like flashy move, you know. But anyone you fight usually has tendencies and things they they're good at or they're bad at. So I mean, it's definitely something we've watched and are prepared for. Um, but yeah, that's it. So an ongoing joke with the preview show that I do is we always mention that you have one loss, and I always have to correct them and says. That one loss was a fight that I thought you clearly won. That was against Tracy Cortez. Is, is she on your radar at, at all to get that, that loss back? Uh, you know, I mean, I'm not going to, like, hunt her down for it. If it I think it will definitely come because we're very close in the rankings. Um, and, you know, I mean, it was a close fight. I feel like, honestly, after that loss, I got a lot better. So I'm kind of thankful that I didn't get that split. I think I wouldn't be as good as I am now, and I wouldn't be sitting here. Um, so... I think it's definitely something that will come again, and I'll definitely win that fight when it comes. And I know you said you're in you're no rush to you know fight for the title one day, but I mean, there's got to be some kind of radar. Like, how far away do you think you are to something like that? Uh, I mean, as long as I keep the winning streak that I plan on keeping, um, maybe two, three years. It depends. It depends on the fights, what fights I can take, uh, what happens. But um, but I know it's something that's going to be in relatively near future. Okay. Thank you. Aaron, over here on the right. Yeah. So obviously. You are ahead of her in the rankings. You're ahead of Molly in the rankings. But she does have a bigger profile here. So there's something you can kind of get out of this fight. What do you see the stakes of this fight being? Uh, you know, I feel like every the next fight is always the most important fight in my mind. I don't really 
blow up individual fights more than others um, because you need to always put 100% of your focus into your training and everything that goes into preparing for a fight. Um, so obviously, yeah, this is a big one, but so is every fight in my head. A lot of people still look at you as, you know, like a top prospect, like in, in but I mean, do you see yourself as a prospect anymore? Or are you, are you kind of shedding that label in your, maybe in your own head? Uh, you know, I try not to let any of those labels really like bother me in any sense. I know how good I am and I know I am, can be the best in the world. Um, so the, I just kind of keep focusing on each fight ahead. I don't really worry about all the labels that are put on me. If you do keep winning, I mean, realistically, you may get to the title sooner than two, three years away. You're not that far off of getting into that range. Uh, and are you comfortable with getting to that opportunity sooner, or would you prefer it maybe slow the train a little? Um, I, I, don't, I haven't really thought of it too much, to be honest. I kind of just take it fight by fight, and I know when that title shot comes, I'll be ready for it, whether it's sooner or later. And then last question here. So obviously you're coming from Jersey. Are you staying at home? Or you 40 minutes away. Uh, so it's easy. I can train at all my gyms. I have all my training partners. So that's been really nice. Uh, I'm probably going to stay tomorrow, though, so I can cut weight in the morning. Okay. So you'll, will you stay here through the fight? Yeah, I think uh, tomorrow, Thursday, like night, I'm probably going to come and I'll stay until after the fight. Okay. Thank you.